This episode of Sojourner's Best is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, what's up guys? So you know it's best here. Yes, I'm in another hotel room still out here on the road, but it's not going to keep me from making videos for you guys. But this video is another what's in my dock video. I'm going to show you some of my favorite apps or plugins that I'm currently using on my Mac right now. So some of these you may know, some of these you may not know. Anyway, it's going to jump right into it. And this first I'm going to show you, you probably already know this, but it's called Geek Bench. And this is Geek Bench 2, uh, which is available actually for the Mac and the PC. And if you saw my uh, MacBook Pro Retina um, the Macro Pro with the Retina video where I did a benchmarking test. This is the first app that I use. And this is a great little app to see what type of performance are you actually getting out of your computer. And you can compare that to other people's computers or give you a little chart and a little diagram to see how you match it up against everybody else. So if you get a really low score, you probably need, you know, you need to go ahead and start tweaking your computer or something is wrong with your computer. And this next app I'm about to show you is for all my Instagram users out there. This one is called InstaDesk and it gives you some more features and functionalities over just the regular um, Instagram app for your cell phone. But this one, it allows you to see your regular feed like like normal of all the people that you're following so you can look at all these different pictures here if you want to get more information like this one from uh, uh wilson tech one here very nice picture man uh but you can go in here you can see all the different people who have liked it you can see all the different comments for it and then you can scroll through just the different pictures that are in your kind of your timeline or your feed right here from all the people you're following there so that's just a regular uh view here again you can also change the views just like this if you wanted to to see more information about those pictures like so you can come down here you can see all your different followers so all the people who follow me on instagram hello people these are some new people here thank you thank you for following me on Instagram um, and then you can look at just your regular pictures if you wanted to now the cool thing is that if you come across um, some pictures that you do like let me go ahead and switch the views here so if, say if I like this uh, photo from Wilson I can just drag this over to my desktop and boom it'll go ahead and save to my desktop there and um, so you can save all these different photos or if I like if I like this photo right here from Sonya I can go ahead and drag this over to a random album that I created and I can drag another one over here as well randomly that was Wilson Tech one again and another one right here and so now you can create different albums and just in case you come across a lot of different pictures that you do like you want to separate them different categories or whatever um, you can do that with this one then also too if you want to go ahead and start a slideshow of all the different pictures you can hit this arrow button right here which either reload the Instagram feed there or start the slideshow and now you can view um, all the different pictures kind of a, uh, a nice little different layout you just want to sit back and kick back and relax um, your pictures from Instagram there so you can do that as well so I just really like this application it's just really probably the best implementation of Instagram for the desktop that I've seen so far. All right, just going to close this one and move on to a really good calendar app for the Mac. This one is called Fantastical and it lives up here in your menu bar up top. So you click it and you see this calendar will show you the date there. Then if you have any upcoming events that you already have scheduled like this one right here, I can go ahead and click on that one and it'll go ahead and show me right here down the bottom what that is. If I click on, I get some more information and things like that if I wanted to. And also, too, it will sync up with your reminders that you may have on your iOS device, anything like that. All the different reminders you set, it will show up here. Uh, but also, too, if you just want to create a quick event like on uh, the 14th so I want to go ahead and make an event right here I'm going to start typing kickball yes I'm in the kickball league <laughs> at uh, 11 a.m. and the cool thing that it does is it automatically changes um, the time there just because I typed 11 a.m. so I don't have to go here and, and randomly change it like that it automatically changes since I typed that in and then I go ahead and add event and boom there it is and also you hit this little anchor here now you'll it'll just stay on top no matter what you do if you open up this picture Lamar is getting a lot of play here. Uh, if you open up this picture, it was just stay on top of any other open little uh, windows that you may have. So this is called Fantastical. It's really a fantastic calendar app. That was really corny, I know. The next thing I want to show you guys is an app called Houdini, which will basically minimize certain applications if they're open for a certain amount of time. So I'm going to give you a quick little example. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Twitter app here and go back to Houdini. So now I have Twitter set at a minute and 30 seconds. It'll go ahead and minimize the Twitter app. It won't close it. It'll just go ahead and minimize it. I'm going to change that to 15 seconds here to give you a quick little example. So if I'm not using Twitter at all, if I don't click on it or don't mess with it at all, it's just sitting here on my desktop. It will go ahead and close out here probably in about another five seconds in five, four, three two one point five zero there it is <laughs> obviously I can't keep track of time so anyway again the Twitter app is not closed it's just minimized there and this is probably for all those neat freaks out there that want to keep your desktop as organized as possible this may be a good app for you and next up, I want to show you guys an application called Spout. And this is a really cool application to see the tweets from people that you're following on Twitter or your friends on Facebook. You can see all their status updates in this cool little interesting way here. You can see how all the words just kind of populate on the screen there in a, a cool way that I'm going to maximize this. So you can kind of see this. So this is something that just kind of gets you out of the everyday normal rhythm of just looking at your Twitter timeline. And of course, you're not going to have this open all day. But if you're going to use this as your screensaver or something like this, uh, it's really cool to do that. And you can kind of scroll through them if you wanted to. If you're looking at a whole bunch of boring tweets, you 
you just hit the arrow button on the right and just go ahead and go through them. Ooh, new Apple video uploading. Get those eyes ready. Smiley face, geekinoids. Uh, but again, you can uh, connect your Facebook if you wanted to. Um, and they call it a different stream right here. And I got this actually disabled. I can go ahead and enable that one. And now I'm going to start showing some of my Facebook updates from people that I'm following. And so people upload photos and things like that. Thank God somebody uh, uploaded a photo there. Uh, the photo will show up right there. And also, too, if you want to go ahead and go to the website that people have in this tweet or something like that, I'm going to hit this arrow button, or not really arrow button, whatever that button is down there. And then you can go to the uh, Facebook page there, and then hopefully it'll load up and redirecting and boom that is the photo that that person just said sent out and their facebook status update so anyway this is called spout again just another interesting way to see all the different information coming from your twitter or facebook feeds so anyway guys it's going to bring it in almost to an end of my what's in my uh, doc video but before we head out here it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video and today's sponsor is jackthreads.com which is a great place to get cool clothes for a very very low price and they have brands like kit robot and hurley you can get pants you can get shoes you can get shirts you can get belts you can get hats sunglasses watches anything to really help max out your style and your wardrobe so if you want to get into this deal you can get into the exclusive club right now it's not open to everybody but just for my soldier knows best viewers you can go to jackthreads.com forward slash skb and start saving up to 80 percent right now off of these clothes again go to jackthreads.com forward slash skb all right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below. What you think about all these different apps that I showed you in this video? And also to remember, well, if I can remember, I'll put the links down below in the description box to all these different apps. You want to go ahead and download them. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.